Hello everyone, it's Serpent, and welcome back to another episode on the survival world. In the last episode, we found this thing, and in this episode, we're going to be taking some Vindicators home. Uh, ah, lag, okay. So, what we want to do now is, um, first, be able to get up here, but, sec <laughs> but second, um, what we need to do is take this out, and to do that, we need to, um, uh, yeah, sorry. To do that, we need to make a shelter and set our spawn so that we don't go back to the, um, go back all those 17,000 blocks from <laughs> from where we are now. And, um, I think I'll just make a little shelter place right here. Right, so I've set my spawn. There's the bed. I have my shield, my dirt for blocking them in, sword, um, Spare pants, because these are on their way out. Bunch of torches, um, coal, wood for more torches. Don't need my fishing rod. I have impossible, <laughs> because it's got infinity and mending. So I think we're ready to um, take on this dungeon. Okay. Pop down some, oh. Get back here. Oh, I guess. Not back, because he was never there. Anyway, um, okay. Fish. Oh, water bucket, right. The water bucket for, um, getting rid of carpets. Uh, nothing in here, nothing in here. Okay. Let's see. There's one. Okay. Here we go. That's a very weirdly gen- Ow! That was rude. Don't block. Okay. Block. Not there. And like that. Scooch over. <laughs> uh. Okay. That was a very well. Wait. Is he too. He, um, more than too high? Well, either way, I don't want to take the risk, so. There we go. And next, you. And if we just do that, and block him in like so. Okay. Now, oop, this, this room seems good. Okay, so they can't, so they can't reach me with, when I'm too high. That's a lot of wool. <laughs> now, moving on, I think I'll probably put a bridge here. It's most likely a good idea to be able to walk across there, if need be. Aha, chests, chests. I know there's no loot in there, but it, um, chests are always a good thing. No loot, right. Yeah, okay. I'll go, I'll go snatch those at some point. Anyone in here? Hello? I don't, I don't want you. Go away. Okay. Pop. 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 What's this supposed to be? Either way, um, let's just quickly get rid of this guy. Too bad normal mobs that spawn in here don't, um, don't, don't not naturally despawn. That's a weird, um, thing. Okay, moving on. Another one, wow. Didn't seem to be any Vindicators in this one, so I'm just going to light it up. Now. Aha, see you. See you over there. Can't fool me. Too clever. Okay, this is the way up. You. Punching them, by the way, isn't going to make too much of a difference. You are a very, um, inconsiderate lump. Okay, let's get you a new cell. Hello. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. Um. I go. I think I'll just wander over here quickly. Ah, they're faster than they look. Okay. There. Good. I don't want you, creeper. Where'd the vendor go? Okay, fine, fine. Either way. At least I'm healing now. You, over there. Okay. Good. There we go. Okay. Place that back in. Then scooch over to the side. And place that. Cool. Moving on. That room didn't have any vindicators. So we need 20 of them, if you remember. Um, because that's the number that I need to raise my hostile mob count to. Okay, I've finished this this um, layer, this floor. Good to know. I need some more bikes. Right, I'm back, and I've changed my pants. So now they're not all they're not all shiny, but they're also not about broken. So let's get rid of these random people. Have at thee. Have at thee too. Go ahead. Okay. Um. Moving on. Here we go. Here we go. And just like that. Probe indicator catcher. That's my new job description. Come on, get closer. Fine. Into the pen. Ah, what? I have thorns on. Probably shouldn't have thorns on. And the final block. Okay. This has this one's the one with thorns, okay. Mm -hmm. I do like my protection for chest plate, I must say. I think I probably have another one though, so I'll probably switch at some point. These guys have a lot of health, though, so I don't think it'll it'll matter too much since we don't need high health vindicators. All we need is vindicators. Ha! Ah. There's one of those um, fancy schmancy robed dudes that spawn in the little little guys. No idea what they're called. Don't remember. However, um, hey, where'd he go? Okay. Yes. Those little guys, the, vent, the vexes. Um, you with the, with the axe. Get over here. Pop, 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 pop. That. All is well. All is well. Now I need to encase this guy in some. Uh, hold on. Ow. 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 Run. Ah. <laughs> uh. Ah. Uh. Okay. Go away. Go away. Okay. Okay. Let's heal up before we go back in there. There we go. Charge. Ow. Yes. Okay, he's locked in. That's a lot of vexes. Attack. Okay. 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 Good, good. And heal up quickly. That's a lot more vexes. Ow. Okay, there. Now he can't see us. So there should be no more vexes spawning. They're still, um... The ones that are here aren't going to go away, though. This is, um... Getting slightly bad. Block. Oh, I, I just killed him by, by staring at him. That's right. How powerful I am. Okay. I'm going to keep doing this.
So I've I've died and my items are in the, are in a room guarded by a vindicator and evoker. And the worst part is that every time I'm I start moving in there, it starts lagging like no like nobody's business. Like like stuff. It's lagging like stuff. That's right. Okay. See what I mean? Um there's no wall to build off. This is Okay, there's a wall here that they're guarding. Okay. And if I scoot over there and then over there. Over here. And then over here. Coordinated scooching. You out of the way. Okay. And then like this. There's one of them. I didn't realize there were two Vindicators. Uh, I wonder why it's so laggy at this point. Okay. There. I can't place a block there. I'm out of dirt too. Is this block safe to break? I think so. You there. With the, with the fat face. That won't let me place a block. Fine. See if I care. <laughs> ah, I have. Okay, this is where the um. I'm just going to kill him. <laughs> there. My stuff is more important than one lousy evoker. Okay, I think I have recovered from this whole incident. I do get a totem of undying. That's nice. Okay. Protection 4, that's the good one. Um, here. Okay, I think I've covered. Back to the time lapse. So, <coughs> oh wow, weird voice there, sorry. Um, so, I think we've figured out, not figured out, I think we've cleared out the whole um, the whole structure. Just going to get rid of some stray pieces of dirt. <laughs> I, I, during the um, time when I was trying to get my stuff, I blocked that zombie in instead of killing him because I didn't have a sword. So yeah, let's get rid of this. But I'm pretty sure we have at least 20, um, 20 things, 20 vindicators here. The evokers are a bit harder to to um, capture, so I don't think I'll be getting those. But actually, um, I've just noticed that instead of clearing this room out, I've just blocked it up. So I guess we'll do this one on camera once I've gotten rid of these zombi zombies. Right. So next. The skeleton has to go. Okay. And no vindicators. Good. Charge! That didn't take long. <laughs> ah. Go away. You're not wanted here. Hey. That's not fair. You're not supposed to notice me through a wall of dirt. Okay. I'm just going to, to run around until these guys die. On second thought. Go away! Okay, they're gone. At least for now. So, um, yeah, I think we've gotten this, this, um, this evoker all set. Nice dirt house. And it's time to start moving them back to the spawn chunks. What we need to do here is basically just make a nether portal somewhere in here. Hopefully at a central location. And then we can move all the Vindicators from from there one at a time without having to worry about being ambushed from behind, by another, which did happen to me on occasion. I wonder if those um, those Vexes are neutral until you um, anger the the Evoker. That'd be cool. Then you could ha then you could use them as decoration. Um, 
think the answer is probably no. Yeah, googled it. I'm pretty sure they're hostile no matter what. Now, um, what we need to do is get that nether portal. Unfortunately, I have no obsidian on me. Maybe I have some in my system. I'll go uh, and take a look uh, at that. Uh, uh. There was a Vindicator hiding behind the stairwell. Okay. This is small potatoes for a, a pro Vindicator catcher like me. That's right. <laughs> anyway, back to running towards my hovel. Okay, so there wasn't any um, anything in my system. So, that's not a problem, don't worry. I'm just going to grab my transportation box and I'm going to enter pearl and walk on over to the, the nether portal I have over there somewhere. Hold on, it's on my map. <laughs> or, well, I don't really need to need to know it's it's over here anyway I'll walk on over to this um, this nether portal and I'll probably just take it down and move it over here or um, go through it and then mine my way and make a tunnel over to my um, my nether, nether quote hub unquote um, my set of my <laughs> the place where the tunnels collide in on t uh, in on each other. Anyway, I'm going to mine on over to there, and then I'm going to, um, sorry, I'm going to. Oh, what are you doing here? Uh, yeah, I'm going to mine over there, make a tunnel to here, and that way I can get here much quicker than I previously could. And now I'm coming back because I forgot my ender chest. Do you hear that? It's lava. If I find that lava. I can just pour a bucket on it and I won't have to go back to get any um I won't have to go back to get my obsidian. Ah. Uh, I don't want to go into the cave. I think I'll just go get my obsidian. <laughs> and here we are. I'll just take a couple pieces of this. <laughs> um yeah. Now I just need to walk back to my base, which I think is at about 130 something. And then uh well Oh, dig back to my base, sorry, not walk. And, um, yeah, well, okay. fine, fine. If I dig, I'll be walking as I dig. Loud. Okay, anyway, I'm going to go back to my base, and then I'll be able to take the Vindicators through this tunnel, and all will be well. Holy moly, is this a long tunnel. <laughs> I just realized, I've I've been walking for maybe a minute, 30 seconds, 40, who knows, a while, and I've only, I've only traveled maybe, um, well, I've, I've traveled 300 blocks, but that's not even close to, to the whole thing. Yeah, I've got a, a bit of time ahead of me. Luckily, I still had some speed 2 potions, um, left over from when I was digging this tunnel, and others in the past, so, as you can see, if you look up in the up at the X, Y, Z coordinates, I'm whizzing along quite spectacularly. Aha, the end of the line. That means I have to get... Um, I, If you remember, I traveled halfway um, and then started going through the nether. Halfway through the overworld, then the rest in the, um, in the nether. And basically, that means the tunnel only goes halfway, so now I have to start digging it again. Let's, um, I guess let's do that. Uh, gremlin drumsticks. I just, um, I just broke my really good fortune pickaxe. This seems to happen to me quite often, unfortunately. Hmm. Um, I might have a couple here. Hopefully. Well, I've got that, but I don't think that counts. <laughs> you can go back. Uh, lesser armor. Have a stone pickaxe. <laughs> hmm. This could be problematic. Let's see. 
tools, armor, icebox, transportation. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't think I have anything. <laughs> any spare pickaxes? That's um. That's slightly annoying. Oh well, I'll just make another one. The bad part about this is that I don't have Instamine anymore, and um, I've still got a couple hundred blocks to go. At least I think I do. I think I might um might have to check a couple of my videos, previous videos, to see what coordinates my Nether quote hub actually is. Uh, new plan. If I place my ender chest down. And then um, go to, let's say, um, trying to find an empty one. Hmm. I know there are, I'll just make a new one. Okay. Tools, armor, other stuff. One, two, um, maybe, yeah, one, two. One won't be enough to, to hold all my stuff. I'm just going to, oh, unbreaking three. Okay. Turns out I did have another one, but it doesn't have efficiency, so I can't um, I can't insta mine, and that's what I need to do. So, um, right, what was I going to do? Okay, I need to put that back here, and then um, where's my wood box? And there. So now I just need to um, <laughs> dig a little bit more so I have some room, and plop, plop. Chuck all this stuff in. And, huh. Actually, I think I'll need this pickaxe. And in this one. Actually, no, I don't want this pickaxe. I want that. St <laughs> I want that stone one. Although, can shulker boxes be mined with a stone pickaxe? Uh, well, th they'd better be able to. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. And this one. Pop. 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 Oh, not enough room. Okay. And there we go. So, now we just need to kill ourselves. Um, and I need some of these back. Is it in this one? No. There we go. So, it must be in whichever other one I did. This one. <laughs> Flint and steal it for the win. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, we don't want to burn our armor. That would be bad. So, scoop this up. And... Yep, nothing on us. Whistle, whistle, whistle. Pop. Oh, crud. <sighs> okay, never mind. It's nowhere near as bad as I thought it was. All I need, all I need to do is that, and um, nothing in there. Okay, and then I can just go jump into one of these cells with a vindicator, and um, and I'll be back at spawn, which is where I want to be. Since my base is only about, uh, I don't know, a few, maybe a hundred blocks away from sp from the from the center of spawn point from world spawn, so it's not going to be such a long walk. Where's a vindicator with an open top? I don't actually think there is one. What's this? <laughs> Weird. Okay. Uh, yeah, whatever. I'll just. I'll just find one. It's fitting that you, Bob, will be the one who sends me back to the um, the world spawn. <laughs> there we go. Missing or obstructed. Good. That's exactly what we want. There's that ugly dead tree that um, doesn't even look like a dead tree anymore. That was um. I was originally going to put on a. Uh, a cool dead tree up on that mountain and then I realized that I couldn't build a dead tree and I had built it out of birch wood which in my texture pack does not look like that by the way um, uh -oh. and then I've and then I decided to stop using the texture pack 
And now the um the dead tree le looks like a weird birch twig. Anyway, down to the um the water place. And hopefully I have some pickaxes here. So no no pickaxes. I'm not sure why I um hoped for that. <laughs> but basically I need to go mining for um why do I need to go mining? Well, obviously I need an anvil at some point, but I don't need that like now. So why do I, why do I have the strange feeling that I have to go mining? Um, weird. Oh yeah, I will need the um the anvil for the elytra to put mending on it, and for this for this new pick, which will I I guess be my. Oh, nom, 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 nom. It will end up being my new fortune pick, I think. Um, but I don't need it right now, so we can get back to the... Oh! Uh, oh okay. I see. So, um, what was I doing? Whatever. What I need to, um, what I need the anvil for is to put efficiency on this pick so that I can instamine the netherrack and continue with the project. That's what I need. So, that being said, what we need to do now is do another mining session. I, I really don't like just um just strip mining in this game. It's kind of boring. I much prefer the, the cool stuff. Like building this floor and making a, a, mo a mob spawn blocker. That sort of thing. But, I need torches. But, you do every now and then need to... Um, just go mining for some some resources. Uh, it's so boring. Aha! This is um this is a loot chest from my trips to the end to get the tulker shells, and it turns out we do have a, a fortune pick and better sword. That's nifty. Okay. Ooh, torches. <laughs> what about in this one? Nothing good in here. I was hoping to get a um an efficiency pick. If we had if we'd gotten one of those, then we could have just forgone with this whole with this whole um procedure. We're on to the fifth one I haven't mined yet. <laughs> I haven't built yet. Okay. Uh sorta of funny. Sort of um depressing. Right, so, yeah, um, if you were watching that time lapse, you may have seen at the end that I just, uh, I was about to mine out some obsidian for the nether, nether portals, placed down the water bucket, and it, um, dug a hole for it, it flowed in perfectly, and then I thought, since it, since the water's going to flow in and, and, it, um, land on the lava block beneath the um, one next to it, I'll dig the one and I'll fall onto the obsidian that the water forms. Break the block, falls into the lava, the obsidian forms above his head. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to survive this. Um, my iron may be at stake. Okay. So here is what I'm going to try and do. I'm going to try to dig my way out the side of the lava before I die. Ha 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 ha! Oh, <laughs> I survived. I'm indestructible. <laughs> oh. How much? Okay, 46. I am truly unbelievably amazing, you have to admit. There is unrefutable proof right there. If you ever doubted. <laughs> uh I'll show I'll show you what the situation actually looks like. Um so 
that that's the block right there that right there that stupid thing i f i dug this block right here and fell down into the lava underneath that obsidian block and then the water formed the obsidian on top of my head that that water it's not to be trusted not in the slightest but see i was i was digging and i was standing on the block at the time and I fell through and it formed over my head. Well, um, I survived proving once again what a pro Minecrafter I am. That's right, that's right I am. Right here. This is the face of, of the most awesome and unbelievably amazing person ever. But anyway, after that rant, um, I think it's probably time I started to dig this obsidian. So let's um, let's do a quick time lapse. So we have 40 obsidian. That'll be enough for four nether portals and. Um, the next thing we want to do is get the 31 iron that we set out here to get. And um, basically I'm just going to quickly grab that and then, well hopefully quickly, and then I'll return up to the surface and we can continue gathering the vindicators. So, got that 33 iron. I have to admit it did take me a little longer than I thought it would, considering it's only 33 iron. Um, however, it's there and now we can make the um, the anvil and plop the efficiency enchantment onto my pick so that we can mine through the nether rack like we were previously and that will allow us to um nom 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 sorry that will <laughs> that will allow us to um finish the tunnel off so that we can get the vindicators back to the um the spawn chunks unfortunately I'm pretty sure this is already this has already gotten pretty long in video form. Um so I think it's probably time to stop and finish this off the next next episode, which is slightly annoying. I did want to get this finished t today. Um but I do think that's probably the oh <laughs> missed the pool. I, th I do think that's probably the best thing to do. So, um, unfortunately, hopefully you inv enjoyed this video. This has been Serpent. I'm awesome. I escaped the lava death trap. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.